Finally tonight, every basketball player is up against the clock, but none more so than the brave young woman are Steve Hartman and thousands of others watched in action today. Lauren Hill and her Mount St. Joe Lions. A few hours ago, here in Cincinnati, Ohio, the Mount St. Joseph University women's basketball team took to the floor in their season opener. All eyes on a starting forward, who may just be the most devoted player this game has ever seen. Number 22, Lauren Hill! 19-year-old freshman Lauren Hill was diagnosed with terminal brain cancer about a year ago. And from that moment to this, her main goal has been to play in just one college basketball game. I wanted to wear those shoes and wear that jersey and feel like a superhero again because that's how, what I feel when I put on the jersey and that number. For weeks, Lauren has been waiting for and working for that first game. Since practice began last month, she's been training with her team, getting up at 5.30 a.m., fighting back unimaginable headaches in utter defiance of her cancer. When I'm not there, I don't, I feel like I'm letting people down. Lauren has weeks to live at best, and here she is worried about letting other people down. Why does that matter so much to you? Because I love them. They're like my family. And they keep me going. They're what's they makes me positive. But it took more than will to get Lauren to this moment. Because time was so short, the NCAA allowed Mount St. Joseph to move their season opener up two weeks. They also had to change the venue to accommodate all the people who wanted to support Lauren. This arena seats 10,000, and it's sold out. Just checking into the game was accomplishment enough, but Coach Dan Benjamin didn't want to stop there. He had a special play design. If Mount St. Joe got the tip, they would try to double down on Lauren's dream. And as fate would have it, they got the tip. And Lauren sets high. The screen comes, the ball goes down to Lauren Hill, and the layup is good! A layup for Lauren! And with that, Lauren Hill checked out of the game. Perfect from the field, and a perfect example for any athlete who wants to go out on top. Today has been the best day I've ever had. <laughs> Steve Hartman, CBS News, in Cincinnati. That is the CBS Evening News tonight, later on CBS 60 Minutes. And first thing tomorrow, CBS This Morning. I'm Jeff Glor, CBS News in New York. Scott Pelley will be here tomorrow. Good night.